Dyson Hoover, Dyson Hoover, what? Bang, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan's Corner. Yeah, guys, I'm trying to make these midweek videos a little bit more interesting, a little more cooler. Bang, what's up, guys? This is my new bombastic intro. You're going to be getting this from every video from, in, from here on out. Let me guys know what you thought of my videos last week, guys. We've got another one of these flash vids for you today. On today's episode, we've got... Bang. This is the brand new um, Star Wars Resistance X-Wing. I'm fucking excited about this one, guys. I'm excited about this one. We're going to jump into it. Yeah, this is one of the brand new Lego Star Wars sets that just dropped in March. Came out on the 1st of March. Here, man, I was up I was up sniping that shit on the Lego website at like midnight, ready for it to go. Yeah, I waited up, sniped these ones, stayed up till all hours, fucking Denmark time, to buy these sets. And uh, I was shitting that they'd sell out. They're still up. They're still right there. They're still there, ready to rock. So if you guys want them, go get them. Because they're not selling out, apparently. Any guys, without further ado, let's jump in. Let's inspect some packaging. So here it is, guys. This is set 75297. It's 4 plus. Wait, why was this? Why is this one 4 plus? But the Minecraft one I did last week was, was 7 plus. That's strange. That's strange. Why that's fresh in my mind is because I recorded this straight after that Minecraft video. That's how I know. That's why I'm wearing the same clothes. People are going to be like, oh, Ryan only has like three jumpers. Yeah, true. So this is the Resistance X-Wing, guys. It comes with Poe Darman and it comes with BB-8. I'm excited about BB-8. I haven't got one of him yet. Poe Darman, don't really care. It's all about BB-8. So here it is, guys. Cool looking box. A little bit bland with the kind of desert background. It reminds me of the, the packaging from the Mandalorian Trouble on Tatooine set. Yeah, the set cost me 20 euro, by the way, guys. So this is it, guys. This is the X-Wing here. BB-8 sits in the back, which I'm kind of excited about. That look, that's going to look really cool. Kind of like my Jedi Interceptor. On the back here, guys, it doesn't look like a, a, a massive build. Just a couple of wings section there and this base. So I don't know if there's going to be much to this. Yeah, pretty boring uh, back of this box. Anyway, guys, enough jibber-jabber. Let's jump in and unbox this. You guys, I'm excited about this one. It's been sitting here for a few days now. I've been buzzing to kind of just jump in and, and build it. Here we go. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, I love getting like the brand new sets, you know? So this is, this is cool to be, you know, on the ball with this one. Bang. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't expect this to fly in. I need a box over there. Two bags of Lego. Two bags. We're going to fly through this, boys. Instructions. That's the cover there. QR code again. Go on, boys. How many steps to this? 27 steps to the ship. Or a couple of other steps for the minifigures. So this shouldn't take us too long at all, guys. More sets to the back there, guys. But we've literally reviewed all of these. Oh, look. We haven't seen this in a while, guys. Pretty boring instructions, guys. Anyway, guys, my fellow Dyson Hooveners. Let's jump into uh, a time lapse. And here it is, guys. This is the finished build of the Resistance X-Wing. Overall, guys, not a great build. I think it took even less than it did to make my Minecraft Coral Reef set. And we know how short that was. The fact that it came with this really long piece just seemed really lazy to me for a 20 euro set. Two minifigures is fine and a vehicle's fine for a 20 euro set. I just would have liked to have seen a few more pieces, a bit more detail thrown to the ship. I just think in places it just looks a bit messy. It looks a bit plain. looks a bit dull for a vehicle of this standard uh, it's pretty disappointing for a star wars set not going to be too critical because i think the minifigures are fine and for a 20 euro set it's one of the lower priced star wars sets it's it's okay but that's it it's not more than that it's okay you know i would recommend just kind of forking out another 5 10 euro on like sets like the obi-wan kenobi's house or the lego toy fighter i think they're much cooler for a better price Anyway, guys, let's jump into a proper in-depth review of this set. Even though I did just kind of give a proper fucking review there. Anyway, we'll jump into an up-close an up close look at it. Jumping into the minifigures here, guys, we've got Poe Dameron. Yeah, Poe doesn't really over-excite me as a Star Wars character, and especially as a minifigure, but I kind of like this guy. Detail and done to the jacket's really cool. Something different that we don't really usually see in a, in a kind of Star Wars minifigure. Not much detail and done to the back and the legs. I have to say I really love the helmet. The fact that they gave this guy this custom helmet is really cool. Kind of comes off there. Oh, I, I think that's really nice. The resistance logo stuff and the, and the printing and his number there stuck on the side of his helmet looks really good. He does have a double-sided face there, guys, if you want to make him look kind of angrier. Yeah, pretty standard minifigure, guys. If it wasn't for the helmet, I'd be pretty bored of him. But uh, 
no, I think he's really cool. It would have been nice to maybe get a hair piece so you can kind of switch in between. The fact that he's kind of stuck with this uh, helmet is kind of a kind of a bummer, but uh, I am really happy with, with the helmet. Uh, pretty solid minifigure overall, guys. Next up here, guys, we have the tiny BB-8. And here's BB-8, guys. I'm really happy to finally have this guy. Not a very exciting minifigure. He doesn't really do much, right? He's just kind of two pieces that kind of slot together, but <laughs> I am happy to have him. He kind of breaks up the repetitiveness of getting R2-D2 in every set. Pretty similar head to R2-D2, bit extra design there. Uh, body's pretty standard, not much there, but I am really happy to have this guy. Yeah, guys, anyway, moving on to the ship. And here it is, guys. This is uh, Poe Dameron's X-Wing. Overall, guys, kind of disappointed with this set. It's just a bit boring, a bit bland. Um, they could have done something here even, or something here. Yeah, these wings close up here if you want to display them like this, and it looks like the thrusters are kind of closed. But yet, when the wings are open, I don't like the way you kind of see these pieces here. It would have been... A smooth piece or give me something anyway, you know, to, to make it look cleaner, a little bit more interesting. I get it's a 20 euro ship, but they could have given us something. The fact that this is all one piece as well is just really lazy, I think. The cockpit's pretty boring. They could have closed off this glass here. I don't know why they just gave it this one solid glass with no real design or printing on it. The back is probably my least favourite part. Look at this. Why is it just so flat? Why They could have had some thrusters here or given us one of these... These pieces that you can put in, there's even some studs or something making it a bit more interesting. I get when it's closed up, these are supposed to look like thrusters, but they could have even put something here a bit more red or something like it's supposed to be fire, or, I, I don't know. These cannons are really cool, I think they look nice. Um, and I really like the way all these pieces are custom printed. When I saw the box, I just assumed these were stickers, that's pretty nice. In the cockpit there, I don't like the way there's the holes there, you can kind of just see straight through the bottom. Just looks a bit dumb. But I do like the way the uh, screen here is, is a printed brick, it's not a sticker. And there's Poe in there now. It's a, he's a good fit, but I really wish this was closed off more. And then there's BB-8 at the back, who looks okay. I was really disappointed the fact that he doesn't actually go into the ship. He kind of just sits on top. That, that was a bit of a letdown for me. This is probably the most disappointing part of the set. For some reason, I thought he was going to just slot in, like the way R2-D2 does with the uh, Jedi Interceptor and, 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 and like Obi-Wan Kenobi ship that he has. So this is a bit of a letdown for me. Overall, guys, I'm not really blown away by the set. I was kind of let down by it, if I'm being honest. I was really excited to build it, as you guys probably saw in my intro. But the fact that it took me like 10 minutes to build it and there's not much design to it, kind of lazy in places, kind of scruffy, kind of scuffed. Not really a massive fan of the set. The minifigures definitely bring it up a little bit for me. I like Poe Dameron's helmet and I'm really excited that I have BB-8 in my collection. But other than that, it doesn't really offer much. There's definitely better sets out there if you want to buy it for your kids. As a collector, yeah, pick it up maybe for 20 quid if you want to just say you have it. I can see this set being retired in the next couple of months, year maybe. Uh, I don't see this one flying off the shelves. Overall, guys, I think I'm going to give this guy a 6 if I'm being generous. I think I'll give him a 6 just based on the minifigures and the price, considering it's only 20 quid. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with it. I'll give this guy a 6. Anyway, guys, there you have it. This is the final look of the set. Overall, guys, I'm not blown away, but for a 20 euro Star Wars set, it's 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 okay. Happy to have it in my collection, but if you're kind of a casual Lego collector or you're just buying it for your kid or something, there are, there are better sets out there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I have a more substantial video coming out at the weekend. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments. Would you would you buy this? Would you buy it for your kid? Would you buy it for your yeah, your stupid niece? Until then, guys, I'll I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.